So I was watching Keep Your Hands Off Eizouken, which is a great anime, by the way. Um, so watching it off Crunchyroll, and I hate watching anything off Crunchyroll, because the ads suck ass, and also, you know, um, the comments. Which, I mean, I the can comments. avoid. Yeah, the comments. I mean, I can avoid them, but um, I can't help it sometimes. On one of the episodes, uh, episode 7, in fact, I scrolled down to look at the comments, and someone had commented, uh, just like, shout out to the complete aversion of fan service. Too fucking often is there shit in anime that just makes me uncomfortable, which is a very valid statement, and I also agree with this. But the response, the response to this comment had me rolling. Okay, are you ready? I think I'm ready. I don't know if I'm prepared, but go for it. I don't think anyone's prepared to hear this. Um, someone replied to this uh, just a day later. Sex is a wonderful thing. Humans are designed as the most sexual animal. Sex and skinship is good for skinship. your health. <laughs> I forgot skinship. You forgot skinship. Sex and skinship is good for your health. Yours, the cultural indoctrination that war is good, violence is good, and sex is bad. Sorry, no, no, no. Let me let me restart that. Yours, the cultural indoctrination that war is good, violence is good, and sex distracts. I say, make love, not war. I forgot some parts of that. I actually <laughs> wasn't prepared for you to say it again. So, um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of questionable things here. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, such as the, the implication here that the, that we are culturally indoctrinated that war is good. And I don't well, think that, I mean. Not wrong. It's not quite wrong, but I feel like it's not quite right. I think, I think he's wrong to say that humans are indoctrinated by their cultures to think that sex distracts from war the, yeah, yeah, I don't, yes I don't, yes i don't think sex distracts from war god created sex to distract from war that's what he's saying <laughs> that is what he's saying okay but actually um i would like to focus on the second statement in this in this uh comment humans are designed as the most sexual animal and when i think about this i um i think i think maybe it's not true I mean, who is he to to say? I, I'm assuming that this is a man. Um, who are they? To <laughs> who are they to, to to be the judge of w what the most sexual animal is? Well, maybe, but like kangaroos and whales don't have like wars to be distracted from or anything. Okay, but the 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 presence of war okay but it's saying that um sex is distracting from the war is what we are indoctrinated as a culture but then but then isn't it like more sexual to not have war is that <laughs> i think no, maybe because if you don't have war if there isn't any war then what how will you be how will you be distracted from the war you see this doesn't make any sense. Sexuality is directly I... correlated to war in this society. <laughs> well, then I guess in that case, humans are the most sexual animal. But it, it doesn't, it seems rather reductive. I. It, it does. I think we shouldn't base it on the presence of war. Okay, and let's so... just evaluate what the most sexual animal is. The what is the most okay. sexual animal? What does the most sexual animal mean? First of all, I was gonna, I was gonna ask that. Like, what, what are our like criteria? Um, um okay, I think we can, we can, we can just start intensity. Roman? Okay, but like frequency. Okay, um, we could go with. <laughs> we could deviancy. Um, sexual organ size and prevalence. Oh. Um. Well. Okay. 
Why not? I just feel like it's more I mean, about what you. I feel like it's more about what you do with your prevalence, regardless yeah, but of like, how prevalent it is. Yeah, but if we're talking about the most sexual animal, like if most of its body is dedicated towards the sex, then like. Yeah, but like, are we talking like sheer size or like nerve endings or? I think maybe we these. This is something that we can consider. But okay. none of these factors alone are going to determine the most sexual animal. I think it has to be something in our hearts. You're right. Like something that we just feel, that we just know it's the most mm -hmm. sexual animal. Yeah. Somehow I, I feel like I know in my heart that humans are not the most sexual animal. But also maybe I'm biased. I've just never thought about it until now, honestly. I don't, well, I'm not sure if, um, most people have thought about this. Probably for good reason. <laughs> well, well, what do you say? Should we just, like, research? I think we should just do some research. Um, okay. I know that some marsupials have, um, more than one sexual organ. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can't remember if it's two sexual? or three. Oh, hold on. Maybe I should incognito window. Marsupials, <laughs> sexual organs, multiple. Marsupial. Kangaroos have three vaginas. That's <laughs> yeah. the first headline That's the that first, showed up. Yeah, from National Geographic. Oh. Wait, wait, I need to read this, because the, the preview says, As we develop, the precursors to the reproductive tubes eventually fuse into a single vagina. In marsupials, this can't happen. <laughs> it's forbidden. <laughs> you are not allowed to have one vagina if you are a kangaroo. Wait, so... Kangaroo... Female kangaroos have two... Wait, I'm really confused. They have two lateral vaginas, which lead to separate uteri, but both open externally through the same orifice? Oh, that's the pouch. Oh, I just oh, made that oh, up, oh. but it seems like it could be right. Uh-huh. But then a third canal, the median vagina, is used for birth. Okay, so one of them is for, for baby. Yeah, I think so. Well, yeah. But then I don't I don't understand what the other two are for. But anyway, aren't doesn't the male kangaroo have two penises? It's bifurcated, <laughs> so that the penis has <laughs> two ends corresponding to the female's two vaginas. Yeah. Oh, and they pee from somewhere else. Oh. Oh. Well, that's nice. That's delightful. I don't know if, okay, now that I'm thinking about this, uh, okay, two, you would think two penises, two vaginas, that's double the sex, but like, is it really? Mm -mm. It isn't really, it's just like, it isn't really. Because they have a giant cavity in the middle of their body where they hold their babies. It's just how mm. they, how they, how they rock. Yeah, so I think it's probably not a marsupial. It's probably not. I'm going to suggest the bonobo, which I believe is like a sort of, um... It's a primate, correct? Yeah. I was going to say a monkey, but I, I realize I don't know what a monkey is. It's a gray-tiled chimpanzee. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That is. Oh, are these the ones that, like, have a lot of social sex? Yeah. Yeah, okay. 4.2.1 on the Wikipedia page, Sociosexual Behavior. Sexual activity generally plays a major role in bonobo society, being used as what some scientists perceive as a greeting, a means <laughs> of conflict resolution, and post-conflict reconciliation. Hmm. Hmm. Penis fencing. Frotting. Genital genital rubbing. Genital genital rubbing? Uh, hold Geni on. Genito genital rubbing. What does that mean? Wait, if okay, I Google... so they're pretty sexual. Okay, let's... 
I just googled bonobo sexuality and the first thing that came up was from the Scientific American labeled bonobo sex and society. But um, also below that we have a, um, an article from BBC that says, do bonobos really spend all their time having sex? Can this appealing story really be true? I don't know. I don't know, BBC. I don't know. I don't know if you... Hmm. <laughs> These apes supposedly have inordin inordinate amounts of sex and never fight. Can this appealing story really be true? But see, they... they... They, that can't be true that they never fight because no. they use sex as conflict resolution. Yeah, but and then um, you see, and also, the sex distracts from war. I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, but is this actually like real? Is this actually good conf conflict resolving behavior? Actually, you know um, what? I won't. I won't talk about it in regards to bonobos because I don't know. I don't know bonobo psychology. Yeah, you can't judge bonobos. Um, but the answer immediately says not really. Even though um, I, I just want to say that I don't, I don't know if I find this story appealing. I also, I mean, yeah, they can be it's, aggressive, is what they it said. They can be aggressive. Well, I'm reading, and it seems like they make it act like that's all they do. That all they do is have sex. But like, oh my god, it's more wait. like they just shake hands with genitals. It seems like, yeah, perhaps. Okay, but listen to this. Listen to the way that this this person, this primatologist, Franz mm -hmm. DeWall from Scientific American, writes about bonobos in regards in like comparing them to chimpanzees. Bonobos have more style. The bonobo, with its long legs and smallish head atop narrow shoulders, has a more gracile, which I guess means slender, a more slender build than does a chimpanzee. That explains why they were called gracile chimpanzees on the Wikipedia page. No, no, but it gets, it just, I'm uncomfortable reading this. A typical bonobo has red lips, neat little ears, and a distinctive <laughs> hairdo, which DeWall described as an attractive <laughs> Oh my god, and then an you scroll down to the first picture. With long, fine black hair neatly parted in the middle. The bonobo, like right under that, though, looks pretty handsome, and his like his knowing <laughs> smile. He's he very confident. He does. He actually looks kind of wise. Yeah, like I feel like eyes. I could count on him. Yeah. Well, I think they're pretty sexual, but it seems like it seems like they literally use sex to distract from war. So. But I don't know if that okay. They literally use sex to distract from war. Does that make them more sexual? Because no, not necessarily. Because but... the the person this this commenter's point was that um, that we are we as a society see sex as a distraction from war. But like, their point is that it shouldn't be. That we should just be we should just be fucking. Yeah, and well, bonobos don't do that, I think. She says, someone says, oh god, I lost the quote. Um, one of the reasons they have this genital touching is because they need to relieve tension after they've had fights. Okay. And they aren't necessarily as peaceful as everyone says. Not a paradisical, like, sex It doesn't seem society. that they're that peaceful. It seems like they do, they do, they do do the war. Okay, sorry, there's a line that says, this stuff is a doctoral study just waiting to happen. Yeah, um, I'm just gonna disqualify. Okay, them. I don't know if we can we can like count this because it seems like what they're the the this like genital rubbing and touching is it's what like they're a part of society. It's like a, a strange bonobo society behavior is what it. It's seems not like, like a separate a separate aspect of life. So. Uh huh. And then it, it it says here that in terms of reproduction, they are not more sexually active than chimpanzees. I don't know. Let's 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 put a pin in them. Okay. Oh God! There's a picture of a, a of a bonobo um, masturbating, and I I'm not I'm not I'm not here for this. <laughs> it is a little intrusive. It's for the poor bonobos. Uh... Oh God! <laughs> it's a, this bonobo is doing what you think it's doing. The bonobo exactly. 
are we qual are we qualifying sex for um recreational or only for reproduction or I think in the way we meant it when we first talked about it, we meant like just for the hell of it. But I don't think I think most animals don't do it just for the hell of it. That's true. But also like what does that mean? Like I don't think a lot of animals think about it like that. Yeah. Especially like, you know, all those like male animals that were just like, oh yeah, I find my mate and then I, I fuck him and then I leave him. Or, or, listen, well, there, this are, one... there are a lot of people <laughs> to do that. Anyway. Uh, okay. But, okay, here's what I wanted to bring up. I wanted to bring up something like, um, like, uh, sea urchins or like coral. Do you know how, like, they release all of their, like, polyps into the the water and they drift around until they meet yeah and then they just there's tons of them is that like does that <laughs> yeah. count that is sexual reproduction it is? like it's not asexual yeah it's not asexual because there's two there's two um there's two gametes okay um asexual reproduction requires only one um organism to produce a fully fledged new organism. You know, you're right. This is actually harder to think about than I thought, because like, because then you're like, thinking about it, maybe plants, are, maybe plants are the mo- wait, 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 wait. Plants Never are mind. animals. This is the most. This is the most sexual animal. Never mind. We don't need to think about any other sexual organ organisms. Okay. Se- sexually reproducing organisms. I re- you reminded me, I have this book that I got for my birthday a while back. It's called What a Fish Knows, and it's like just all about fish life. There's a whole chapter on sex. Uh-huh. Fish sex. And well, I'm just oh, I'm just oh. going to say the... Um, oh, that... It- the, like, titles, the head- headlines on the page are really funny. Seducing with artistry. Oh. Oh, you mean Manipulation like Manipulation a- with a feminist twist. What? Oh god, this one that's called Well Hung Fish. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay. If we're going Okay, let's go back to the genitalia for a okay. second. Are blue whales very sexual? No, because it's proportional to them, I feel like. Okay. Wait, I actually uh, don't know what blue whale genitalia is. No, let's looks let's like. find out. How long is a <laughs> How long is a blue well, whale's I mean, penis? I think what Whoa, it, whoa. That's scary looking. Um. <laughs> ah! <laughs> and, okay, here's the thing. It's not just, it's not just big. It, uh, it can, it, it, they can move it like a snake. Ah! Um, a blue whale's penis is estimated to range from 7 to 10 feet long. Although average oh. is hard to gauge. Shockingly... I think this is, I think this is, um, a little tongue-in-cheek. Shockingly, very few people have been around to measure an erect blue whale penis during intercourse. Well, yeah. Does having the long, largest penis in the animal kingdom... But the whales are just huge, too. And I think when we're thinking about, like, the size of the genitalia, it's more about, like... In relation to the... To the in relation the to the animal? animals, mm-hmm. in relation to the animals, like life, like what is its purpose? Yeah. What does it do all day? And I don't think that they actually end up um, boning down all that often. I mean, yeah. they just sort of. Please don't ever say it like that again. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> I think maybe what we need to. Um, also consider is like how much of their life is devoted to sex. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You know? Okay, so like what is that moth? Luna moth? There's a moth that like... Luna moth, yeah. There are quite a few insects that like after they get out of their larval stage which I don't think I really want to count because that's baby, okay? Babies, yeah, babies, baby. shouldn't, babies shouldn't do that. But in their adult stage, they literally just live to... they just live... They just live to reproduce. So, um... But a lot of bugs do that, though. So, you know? So, like, okay, but which bug 
Which bug has the shortest adult life? It's like a fruit fly, probably. Really? Living like a day. But do fruit flies literally really live one day? Oh, the mayfly, which lives for less than five minutes after its final molt. Oh. And is that literally all they're doing? Exists like five minutes? Okay. Yeah, Wikipedia. Because a lot of these bugs, you know, like they they don't have any other parts. Like the Luna uh, moth. Uh, 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 uh. The Luna moth Adult doesn't females. have a mouth. Oh? Adult females of the species live for less than five minutes. And then the males? Ah. Uh, they may patrol individually, the males. They congregate in swarms. <laughs> and perform a nuptial dance. Well, it seems like if you look at like the five minutes that each female is alive, and probably the like two or three days the man is alive. The man? Do the not bro. call him a man. That is not a man. The bro. <laughs> the dude. The dudette only lives for five minutes. I hate these. Are not, the these are bad. Okay. <laughs> um, they're pretty sexual. Considering that is what they considering that that's what they to. do with their adult life. Yeah. But what about dolphins, though? Dolphins. Yeah, J dolphins are really deviant. I know they are, but like, okay, we 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 just have. I feel like with the mayflies, we have such a strong contender. Like their whole adult life is just is just for sex. I know, but there's. There's something, like, insidious about a dolphin. Uh, about a dolphin? Yeah. I do know yeah. I do know that sometimes dolphins are sexual predators. And that sounds very, they like, sounds very weird and bad to say, but I, I think it is true. David Linden, professor of neuroscience at John Hopkins University in Baltimore, observed the male bottlenose dolphin had found, quote, perhaps the most creative form of animal masturbation, unquote wrapping a live wriggling eel around its penis. Like, that's just messed up. That's messed up. Gay sex is used to find wingmen. They have a gang culture around Wait. finding and keeping sexual partners. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? so they're telling me that... <laughs> that male dolphins... will fuck with other male dolphins just to see if they're worthy to be their wingmen? No, 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 no. <laughs> they, male bottlenose dolphins tend to engage in same-sex relations early in life, and they use the bonds that they form to hunt for females as they get older. So actually, yes. So yes. Yeah, so what you just said is true. <laughs> it's like... It's like they or they were like, okay, let's see how, how good you are actually. What? What? Anyway. <laughs> wait. Wait. We haven't even Googled the question itself to see if Google had any answers. What is the most sexual animal? Let's see. Ah, bonobos came up in all caps. Seven animal species with crazy in all caps. With crazy <laughs> sex love. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's look Number at it. Number one. Them. Australian giant cuttlefish. Um... Um, oh. They, uh, they just have sex with a bunch of people at once and they turn pretty colors. That's all they're saying. Yeah, but I didn't, I, I know about this, but like, I... Oh no, I, this bonobo's sucking this other bonobo's toe. Okay, here's why I didn't consider cuttlefish. I do know about the, I do know about the giant cuttlefish sexual reproduction thing. It's not really an orgy, though. Like, y'all, this is not, this is just a bunch of male cuttlefish trying to trying to pass on their genes instead of the others and then they fight and then there's some the small males are like well i can't fight so i'm gonna pretend to be a lady i hate i hate Pretty. saying that i hate saying lady for <laughs> for animals because like they I don't think they have this con they try anyway they like they switch to like muted colors and they try to look like a female cuttlefish and then they slip in and then they mate with the female cuttlefish. This is not an orgy. This is uh, this is a fight. This is a brawl. 
I hear what you're saying and I accept it. I don't think this is I don't think this is that sexual. I'm going to rule this one out. Okay, I just I I need the topic to change because if you look at number six, banana slugs, it <laughs> says drama, jealousy, okay, penis chill. <laughs> Banana slug sex has all the intrigue of a soap opera. What soap operas are you watching? I don't know. Okay, okay. Something about something about um something about slugs to note is that they um what is what is that what is the scientific term for that? They can change their sex. A they're, lot of snails they just like when they see another snail, they're like, oh, are you are you Wait, no, wait, wait, do they both? Is this the ones that they like both? Wait, I'm getting the animals mixed up. There's a, there's an animal. It's no, these some, are just slugs. Okay, I think there's some type of snail that has, they have like a, a barbed, they have like a, a, like a missile, a harpoon penis. All, all, harpoon. and then all of them have them. Harpoonus. And then, and then when they see each other, they both harpoon each other with the penis. The wiki wiki on Wikipedia it's called a love dart. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. <laughs> anyway. What is it? it slugs, is it a, wait, are, think are those snails? Are those snails? The hermaphroditic land snails and slugs. Yes, okay. Some slugs. Some slugs. You banana slugs look gross. They are kinda gross. Apparently if a if the dude slug tries to mate with a lady slug that's too big his penis will get stuck, and then the lady slug has to bite off the penis. Oh. Definitely not most sexual, but just interesting. Intriguing. Yeah, I don't think that's the most sexual. That's just that's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All of these on this list are like just animals that happen to have weird genitalia. These are just that animals have, like, that happen to have like weird... Um traditions or genitalia or both yeah but like their lives are not devoted to sex okay okay listen to this real quick listen to this real quick okay someone sent into science focus what is the most sexual animal and someone answered my vote would go to the australian brown and antagonist antechinus um how do you say that a rat-sized marsupial whose males indulge annually in a fortnight long sexual orgy with as many females as possible the fun for the male stops there, though, because they all die of exhaustion, leaving a population of females to give birth 27 days later. Holy shit! What is this animal called again? The Australian Brown Antechinus. A-N-T-E-C-H-I-N-U-S. I think that's a serious contender. That is a serious contender. And we went back to marsupial. I know. Why <laughs> a little mammal has so much sex that it disintegrates? <laughs> It's August in Australia, and a small, mouse-like creature called an antechinus is busy killing himself through sex. He was a virgin <laughs> until now, but for two to three weeks, this little Lothario goes at it non-stop. That's pretty awful. That's pretty that sexual. pretty awful. Ugh, a month ago, he irreversibly stopped making sperm, so he's got all that he will ever have. Oh my god. <gasps> He exhausts himself so thoroughly that his body starts to fall apart. His blood courses with testosterone and stress hormones. His fur falls off. He bleeds internally. His immune system oh fails to God. fight off incoming infections, and he becomes riddled with gangrene. <laughs> Whoa. They're the only I mammals right. that do that. I think that. we have. I think we have a real contender here. They're the only mammals that do that. That, that fuck until they die? Yeah, literally. See, this is why, this is sort of the reasoning why I, I want, I didn't think that humans um, would be the most sexual animal. I just thought that humans like to do so many other things. You know, we forgot bunnies. I just, I just realized. That's that. right. I was just thinking about bunnies. I, I feel like, I feel like they're probably not going to um, hold up to this, um, this little marsupial rat. Probably not. I mean, I think they just. But I think we have might a lot as of well. Sex for, like, pets. Six things you didn't know about rabbits. Number one, rabbits eat their own poop. Oh, actually, I did know that. So, um. Oh, oh my God! Oh. Why is it that when I go, I Google? Okay, 
I mean, I guess maybe oh, um, I'm at fault for I'm at fault for googling rabbit sex, but the first thing I see is rabbit sex with great finale. Funny. <laughs> I don't want to see it. <gasps> That's messed up. I I somehow this is um, something called how rabbits became a sex icon, ex- except it's like a scientific article, except it's on a sex toy website, and it's also advertising their sex. Yeah, toys. I just I just found it too. Hmm. Hmm. The mating process itself often includes multiple sessions of mounting that are about 30 seconds in duration each. This this veracity and rapid frequency... <laughs> I can't, can't finish that Whoa. sentence. Hmm. Um, yeah, but there's nothing like crazy mind-blowing about it. Given everything we've read so far, I think... It's prob like or the winner probably has to be the hold on, I forget what it the antech the antechinus, antechinus. Hold on, real quick, I'm gonna look up what it is. How do you say it? I mean Antichinus. That's what it's called. I think Antichinus. Antichinus? I think they might be the winners. With okay. the Luna Moth. Or well, the Mayfly, I guess. The Mayfly, I think, has got a a better a better um alibi that's not the yeah, word because like better, a better case going for they it. live the rest of their lives still and they they're only meant to live that long so that they can mate and lay eggs really quick meanwhile for some ungodly reason the antichinus is like like completely destroys itself it's like i will fuck so much in a few days it literally falls die. apart literally falls apart i think okay i need i need to i need to read more about the the rabbit reproduction okay i think i'm not getting clear enough data okay yes well this is a very um a much more technical thing about Rabbit. <laughs> what? Okay. Do you want me to read this? It is very scientific, but it's still disturbing. Okay, go on. Both male and... This is about breeding rabbits. Both male and female rabbits can be quite territorial, and mating is best accomplished if the doe, which is... They're called doe and buck, just like deer. Oh, okay. It's best accomplished if the doe is placed in the buck's enclosure or if the pair are introduced in neutral territory. Upon introduction, the buck follows the doe around, softly humming while sniffing and licking her for approximately 30 seconds. Um. He, he may also spray the female with urine. The receptive female will hop around in circles or flatten to the floor. <laughs> It's like a dance recital. Lordosis, Lordosis is observed when pressure is applied to her back. What? Well, observed? the non-receptive... I don't know what this means. <laughs> While the non-receptive doe will run away from the buck, and if cornered, she may vocalize or even bite. At least she knows how to say no. That's true, yeah. <laughs> are you ready? It's going to get worse. Okay. Are you? Are you sure you're ready to hear this? Active mating begins when the buck grasps the female by the nape with his, with his teeth. He then mounts the female rabbit, thrusting vigorously. <laughs> thrusting vigorously until ejaculation occurs relatively quickly. Afterwards, the male emits a sharp cry or squeak before falling onto his back or side, while the doe either runs away or begins to bite and kick the male. That's... (laughs) Why do they have to add the part where he goes, ah, and falls down? (laughs) Really? I don't know! Um... What? Did you read another weird thing? No. I feel like I feel like how did how how do you pronounce it again? Antichinus. Antichinus. I feel like this antichinus is is still 
sort of winning in my eyes. No, in my eyes too. I mean, the rabbit stuff is entertaining, but but this is just this is just a little insane. Hor- yeah, horrifying. Like, 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 does he need to do that? Like, would he not die if he t- <laughs> if he didn't? No, I don't think so. My name is the Brown Antichinus. Wait, to kind of look dull, but everything else about them is extreme. Males live for exactly 11 and a half months, dying from stress-induced immune system breakdown about two weeks after mating. That's so sad. They're so small and so cute. They don't deserve that. Population is a violent affair, with males biting the backs of the females' oh, necks during their brief encounter before each moves on to other partners. A fortnight later, every male is dead, overwhelmed by the stress-related corticosteroids? Cortico- corticosteroids, that's right. Corticosteroids. <laughs> okay, but go on. Corticosteroids produced during the frenzy of mating. Basically, they escalate the amount of competition until it kills them. Uh, says this uh, Dr. Fisher, um, adding that they, su- they suffer internal bleeding, gangrene, and other infections until it overwhelms them. That, that has to be the winner in my eyes. Like, that's just so messed up and crazy. It's just... It's like just excessive. sort of messed up. And excessive. I don't... There's no need... Like, for some of these bugs, like, they just don't have... They just don't have mouths. Or digestive organs. Like, they can't do anything other than... Have sex and die. And these but, like, little animals are, like, completely biologically capable of... They are completely capable of not lives. dying. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we have a winner. I don't want to declare like a definitive a definitive winner because we can just disprove the claim that humans are the most sexual animal but we can disprove this claim yeah yes yeah just there's so much else that humans do normally regularly that isn't even war it's not even war <laughs> <laughs> so um Temporarily and tentatively, the Antichinus is now labeled by us as the most sexual animal. Okay, tentatively most sexual animal, or (laughs) an animal definitely more sexual than humans. Yes, an animal that is definitely more sexual than humans. I think that's... I think that's that. I think that's that. I'm just kind of shocked. I didn't expect to find an answer. I didn't think we would either. But that's, and I didn't expect to find such a bad answer. Such a bad answer. (laughs) I'm like not going to be able to sleep tonight. Because I'm going to think about Antikina's death orgies. Well, Well, bye. bye!